Hi everybody, and sorry for the weird angle, but today we're going to be using a looper pedal, the KO2, Hologram Microcosm, Simplifier MK2, and the bass. <laughs> I hope I didn't just get a copyright strike for that, but I'm really excited today because loopers were one of my first loves, one of my first foyers into music technology, so to speak. And what's really cool about loopers is that looper pedals really force you to squeeze out all your creativity because first of all, you don't get that many tracks, for example, like on an Ableton Push 2, that you just have infinity of tracks and you just start recording and recording and overdubbing. Usually loopers give you one or two tracks and you start overdubbing. Now this in particular, the Eros Gold Edition is kind of a gold standard, I guess. No. Here you get up to six tracks, you get overdubbing, get a bunch of other functions, touch screen, the works. Even though the Arrows is a lot more feature packed than your usual pedal, the core concept still holds true. The looper will force you to become a better musician, first of all, because you need to have impeccable timing. The core concept is since you're doing loops live, you don't have the possibility or that much range of mistakes you can make before it starts getting a little muddy and disorganized. So what's really good about the looper is that it really helps you develop your rhythm and your internal metronome. The second thing that I really like about loopers is that since you're usually just using one instrument like a guitar, or in this case a bass, you really have to squeeze out everything you have in here. And you've probably seen, for example, Ed Sheeran, that he uses tapping on the wood of his acoustic guitar to make the percussions on his songs. Now here, since I'm not going to get that much sound over here, I'm going to be using the KO2, which is a little cheap. Now let me explain a bit what's going on here. So first of all, we have the Squire bass. This Squire bass in particular is a 40 year anniversary special edition, which sounds amazing. And I'm really happy and feel very lucky to have been able to grab this, especially since with just a little setup and a little upgrade on the electronics, it sounds just, just as good as maybe a Mexican or even an American friend. <laughs> You serious? Here, I'm going to run the Squire into the Simplifier MK2, which is basically an analog amplifier. And this thing is going to add all the tone to the bass. This is just a simplifier with nothing else. Beautiful. So that's going to be my mid-range here on the bass. Now, of course, since it is a bass, I'm going to be using the root notes here to highlight the progression but here I still have lots of mids and if I just put it into the looper it's gonna start competing in the frequencies so what I really love about precision basses is this you get really simple tone control so here I'm gonna roll off those mids I'm just gonna leave the bass hear the difference Lot mellower so that way I get some separation between these two tones so now that I have my melodic line and I have my bass line what I wanted was a bit of effects and ambience so here comes the microcosm now fair warning I am a beginner bass player and I'm trying to get better this year but here I'm gonna be doing some very very beginner level tapping see that's where the algorithm and the hologram just interrupts it and gives it that little little that's what I'm looking for. And after that, I want to give it a little bit more rhythm and percussion. So I'm going to just go. You see the microcosm adding a little bit of flavor. This is going to be good, I promise. So since I don't have luxury of having an acoustic guitar and I can't really bang anything over here, I'm going to be using my KO2. And since we're using the KO2, I'm going to be using this. It's kind of like a road sample. And I think I've said this in other videos before. I'm really impressed with how the sample handling here, the pitch shifting goes because that sounds really good. And another thing that I'm really liking on the KO2 is that in the new firmware update, they managed to fix, I guess, the filter. It used to be that when you were using the filter, you only had like this little bit of throw and the rest of the fader just wasn't doing anything. But now you get a lot more range in that filter sweep. And here I'm using like the beat repeat.
Okay, so now that I've shown you all the basic elements, I'm going to show you the full jam. And I'm really happy with this one. But before I start, I just want to say thank you very much for an amazing 2023. I'm just so grateful of everything that's happened, the people that I've met, the people I've collaborated with. Thank you all deeply, sincerely for making this dream of mine become a reality. I just, I'm forever indebted. Especially over there to my Patreons. You guys rock. You've been an amazing support. You've been my friends in all of this journey. All the viewers, everybody who dropped a comment. I wish you all good luck and lots of success and happiness and love in 2024. And of course, I'll see you in other jams. So let's get started.